my droid. Do you think you could repair him? I need him fully operational by the time this pot boils. Unfortunately, I am not a Jedi. I owe you something extra. Here, for your troubles. Take care of this. It wards off evil. You're confused. What? You'll surrender. Although, I won't be sparing your lives. What were you saying about close combat? Did you honestly think you could stand a chance against a Dark Lord? You don't look like one of the villagers. Who dares face me? So you're a Jedi. It's been a long time since I killed a Jedi. Your lightsaber blade is red! Coward! I am the current chief, and you've taken enough! The guards will handle them! Run for cover! I'd like to thank you, sir. Such humility. You must be one of the Jedi Knights of Legend. Please, sir, are you willing to tell me your name? Good morning! <gasps> Professor Mitaka, did you make me bigger again? Okay! Good morning! Gotta find CO3! Hold on, where did CO3 go? <laughs> hey! There you are, CO3! It's your turn for a tune-up. Then we can play Jedi afterwards. Can we hurry? Because I really want to see the rest of the galaxy. Uh, oh, uh, uh, thank you very much, sir. It must be lonesome traveling the countryside all by yourself. Oh, oh I... Uh, of course you are. You're lucky to have such a generous master. Bandits who set up camp at the abandoned outpost on the other side of the mountain. Last remnants of the war, willing to take whatever they want. Huh? It's not safe. We should go inside. Come, you two... Saku! Surrender! And we just might spare your life! Keep firing! Don't give her a chance to strike! No! Run! Don't engage in close combat! Fall back! You need to run! You'll never be able to beat her! I'm on my break. Find another pilot. I might as well come on down. Thank you so much! We are your band, Star Waver! On flaming rumble bass, Giddy! On the versatile cluster drums, Lan! On the electrified dual guitars, Curdy! And on vocals, it's me! I'm oh, sorry! Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> and rocking those electronic sounds, it's V5! And on vocals, it's me! Uh, hey, guys, we're sort of playing a gig here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, does Jabba want my autograph? <laughs> Let's rock him! <laughs> yep, that's just the price of fame. Hey! <laughs> Persistent, isn't he? Mm, okay, punch it! I don't even know what I did. You know. I don't care about Hut Legacy. I won't join Jabba. Being part of that syndicate is boring. Have you lost your minds? You don't need to get caught up in this. You should go. You guys are just... <sighs> Bad business with the slug. Come along. Jabba's been looking for you. If you resist, we'll disintegrate your friends. You're marked for execution, Hut. It's pointless to resist. But I can wait. I don't even know what I did! You know. Jabba is not to be crossed. You really want to do this? Such passionate fans we have. Yeah. <gasps> We've been followed! <laughs> Come on, get up and help, Jay. You know how to fix things, too. Yeah, but Guy... Yeah. There's nothing we could have done. Perhaps we were just lucky and our luck ran out. Ultimately, we're just a band. We did. 
You're not one to run away from your fans, are you? I know. We never finished the set. Well, we live to play another day. Yeah, I suppose you'd rather die for your art. Guys, the first time we played together, we had a lot of fun that day. This'll be our biggest venue since we formed the band, Geese. Our duo. Yeah, that's right. We did it. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll find her. She's somewhere out there. The key to understanding our purpose. The reason why we were created. She's out there. She's alive. I can feel it. After all, she is my twin sister. What is that? Is that me? My future? I don't believe you. How come you can see it and not I? Why? I will die? Surely that cannot be the reason you stole it, to save me? Did you forget, Kare? We are twins born from the dark side of the Force. We were made to bring back order with this power that transcends even death itself. Must I remind you of the purpose of your birth? Oh, I'll prove you wrong, brother. Don't you worry. Just watch. I will make death yield to me, and I'll do it with the power of the dark side flowing through my body! Master Am, we have completed all of the final adjustments on the Gemini-class Star Destroyer. We are ready to deploy and are awaiting your command. <sighs> Ever since you and your brother were delivered to our care, I have watched you grow. And now, I will finally be able to witness you complete your mission. Uh, I must admit, it has been quite the journey. <laughs> Master M, Central Control is reporting that final adjustments to the Hyper Cannon have been completed and will soon be operational. If you can also feel it, I'm sure you understand. I have a bad feeling about this. What do you think would happen if they were thwarted? Can't change the river's flow by casting a stone. But live in harmony with nature and you'll change together. The people of this world know that well. You know that the breath of life becomes wind and will always respond. Majna, may you rise. And... May the Force be with you. Celebrations are meant to be shared with a large group. Because if you hold back, you'll be cursed. Ah, thank you. You see? It's tomorrow, isn't it? They'll take her away. That only made room for a different kind of whore. But his granddaughter volunteered to take his place. And they're coming to take her in the morning. No. <laughs> I understand the grief of the village runs deep. Imagine being imprisoned by invaders to save your grandmother. I'd rather walk, but it's not too bad. I just wish... I wish my parents could be here to see this. Yes, along with your parents. We are the sky. We are the forest. We are the river. We, we are, are one. one. Majina, may you rise! So beautiful. Yeah. The sun's rising. It has been since a long time before we were born. And it will keep on setting, too, I suppose. Long after we're gone. Are you comfortable back there? <laughs> well, we can't have a bride with dirty feet. Where we're going is far too sacred for that. I have no doubt they'll both be watching. They're one with the planet now. Yes. We are the sky. We are the forest. We are the river. We, we are, are one. one. Majina, may you rise! I guess so. We're in this together. This isn't right! <gasps> Saku! Are you really okay with this, sister? You shouldn't have to carry this burden alone. It's wrong! Some of us are ready to fight! Not enough. You may have given up hope, sister. But not all of us have. Saku, you have to stop. We're going to bring them down. We'll fight back. For our families. For the village! Fighting is useless. The land is on our side! 
I've already made my decision, sister. Please understand. <sighs> what kind of wedding is full of mourning? Are you the village chief's replacement? I like this planet. You'll serve as collateral to avoid any unnecessary conflict. Although, you'll forgive me if I appear to be overly cautious. It would appear my caution was well warranted. I can't have anyone trying to ambush me now, can I? I'm sorry, Haru. It would appear that she is the leader. No exceptions, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry, Kara. I recently learned that a number of Jedi who answered my call were killed, and Sith were sent in their place. So I hid myself in their presence in order to determine who was Sith, but... Because of that, they learned about your father, and I could not be there to help. Will you help me save him? Of course I will, my child. Don't worry. You survived the fight, young Ethan. I sense them. They are not lost. They are still wandering out there, somewhere in the galaxy. Kara, you have been guided by the Force ever since the moment you were born. Come and follow me. Help us restore peace to the galaxy and take your place as the Ninth Jedi so we can re-establish the Jedi Order. I see the Seven Jedi have already gathered. Hmm. It is true that the Margrave often frightens others because of his appearance. But he is just an eccentric old man who is not fond of being cooped up in his castle. He does not often appear in front of others. But today is the day he promised to meet you. So I am sure he will arrive soon. We found this. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Ah, where are they? Ah, there they are. Hey, he's out of ammo. Charge! Something's coming. What is it? the length on this one? Oh, well, I guess my connection to the Force isn't strong enough since the blade doesn't have any real color. I guess so. But I wonder what color this lightsaber will turn when it's finally in the hands of a real Jedi. Actually, I've tempered the kyber crystals on each lightsaber so it reflects the user's connection with the Force. The color and the length will vary depending on the Jedi using it. Hmm. You do have some natural talent with a lightsaber, Kara, but your connection will grow in time with proper training. Remember that while the Force exists in every living thing, only those individuals who develop their connection to it will have the power to wield it. But you won't need to worry about all that quite yet. I kept my promise, and I actually finished them on time. Greetings, my name is Ethan. I am here because I received this encoded transmission summoning me. While I am without a master, I feel the Force within me. It appears that you are all masterless Jedi too. Is that correct? So then, do we believe this message to be authentic? He has a point. Who's to say if Juro is really a master Jedi, or if this is a trap? Each of us came here in answer to the same call, just as you have. Is there no one here who has ever met this Juro before? If we are to believe these claims, the Margrave is gathering all the Jedi in the galaxy, all as part of an effort to try to end the war. I would like to see evidence of this before he arrives. The Sabersmith. So you're the one with the lightsabers then? How pathetic, Juro. You would disguise yourself as a droid to spy on us? You will suffer, Juro? If this is some kind of trap to kill Jedi, did everyone show up here believing that they could survive it? Were you also confident that you would not be bested? Or did you decide it was worth the risk just to obtain a lightsaber? 
Despite their rich natural resources, the world of Tao struggles to modernize. In exchange for industrial advancement, Tao has welcomed the Galactic Empire, who in turn plan to capitalize on everything this planet has to offer. However, Imperial industry has proven to be detrimental to Tao's natural environment. Richly steeped in nature and tradition, the people of Tao grow increasingly frustrated by Imperial oppression. I cannot say if Margrave Duro has actually been able to recreate lightsabers. But it is true that there is a deposit of kyber crystals on the planet below. Yes, did the Margrave actually construct any lightsabers? So then, does that mean you might possibly know where he could be right now? <laughs> we are acolytes of the Sith and sworn to the dark side, and we are here to put an end to your pitiful plans of restoring the Jedi Order. Now die, Juno! Please, boss, stop arguing! You too, my lady! We need to flee before the Imperial troops arrive! The Force. You said that it was strong here. But I sense the dark side in this place. I've been waiting for you, Ocho. There you are. Oh, we know each other well! I asked Ocho if she would negotiate with her father on our behalf. We were aware of Yasaburo's terrorist plans, but we wanted to avoid escalation. So we called on Ocho here to help us out. She's sensible enough to understand the many benefits the Empire can offer. And she promised us that she could put a stop to this foolish little insurrection. But it turns out that she was mistaken. I'm sorry, Ocho. But if you're unable to get them under control, we're going to have to make life even rougher for the Yasaburo clan. But I'm sure you of all people understand that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Give us your goods. It's time for you to pay your taxes. Are you really the chief of this village? Or did your father run away and leave you in charge? That was a brave speech for such a young boy. But how are you gonna stop us? You know you can't, right? Maybe they think they're strong enough with the Force to be able to protect themselves. Token, just who are you? I apologize. I became consumed by the other's darkness. Stop! Let him go! Many generations have passed since the light of the Jedi protected the galaxy. Since then, an era of war has arisen. But Margrave Juro, ruler of the planet High Islan, has a plan. He has recently begun mining for rare kyber crystals within his territory. Using these crystals, he seeks to restore the Jedi by reforging their ancient weapons, lightsabers, which have since been lost to the galaxy. However, ancient dark forces conspire to subjugate the galaxy. They hatch their own sinister plan to hunt all suspected Jedi and bring forth a new era of Sith rule. Jedi. So, there is another Jedi on this planet. Where did you come from? Did that old armless Jedi hide you away? I cannot allow you to become a threat! Droid? A droid became a Jedi? My name is Toby, and I'm a Jedi! T.O.B. 1. How many times must I tell you, you must never go into the basement? Sorry. Hmm. Come along, my children. Let's get to work. How many times must I tell you, until there are clouds in the sky and there is green on the land? We can stop only when there is life on this planet, and we are going to make this a beautiful place. Can we hurry? Because I really want to see the rest of the galaxy. Hmm? Listen. You don't know what it's like. You're safe here, and things are peaceful. But the galaxy is terrifying so... and full of danger. Right. So you do know. Because I've heard it a million times. Hmm. I've not said it that much. <laughs> I... It's speculation. However, based on some of the things he said to you, 
Perhaps he was once part of the Sith, but then somehow broke away. It's the first time I've confronted such darkness. It was a terrible power he had. If I had fought him when he was in his prime, the results may have been much different. No, what defeated the Elder in the end was not me, but time. He couldn't win against the weakness that comes with age. No matter how powerful you become, no, it will not last forever. Not at all. With power, you can protect those without it. However, like everything else, it is impermanent. Well, you must hold the Jedi record for most planets visited. Based on all the stories I've heard, anyway. <laughs> well, I really doubt that. Master, patrolling this area was postponed. That is, until you decided to go and volunteer us to do it. You seemed obsessed about getting back out here. Obsessed? Actually, I thought it would be good for you if we visited the Outer Rim. It's a little different than what I expected. Oh, really? How so? For one, I was hoping for something a little more stimulating. Like, maybe more action. It's a lot more peaceful than I thought it would be. The Sith became far too obsessed with trying to outwit each other. It resulted in them completely neglecting their destiny. And so they are now extinct. Are you saying you're not a Sith? Let's not speak with our mouths. But with our blades. Hmm. I guess you are not him after all. I sense someone strong in the Force, but it's not you. It must be the other. No matter. Hunting the Vemga, it was not a challenge. But if I kill you, your master will surely show himself. I won't be as easily defeated as a Vemga. I certainly hope not. <laughs> Gone too. She's taken the Empire's side. They asked her to try to talk you out of what they called terrorist plans. And they said if she couldn't stop you, they were gonna make life hard for our clan. The thing is, I care about this planet, Father. And I want to protect it just as much as you. It's my home. You and Ocho were good to me. I want the three of us to live together again. I mean, I, I want to put a stop to the Empire's oppression. And I want Ocho to come home, too! So, Father, lend me your strength! How are feelings supposed to save our family? You probably wouldn't understand these kinds of things anyway. I get it, you know? I love this planet, and I love Papa, too. And as his heir, that's exactly why I have to turn to the Empire. For the sake of our future. Papa doesn't get it, but leave it to me. I know how to take care of the household. Of course, I can't leave it up to Papa anymore. He's blinded by his idealism. I apologize for what happened. I take full responsibility. As his successor, I will persuade him. And if I can't, I will force Papa to stop this. This ancient weapon represents the bond between parent and child in our family. As it is bestowed upon you, Remember that even though we are not bound by blood, you and I share a strong connection. I am your father, and that bond cannot be broken. We'll support each other for as long as we are able to. Bear this in mind, and keep this sword close to your heart. Whenever you're ready. You've been having a nightmare recently. What did you see? I'm not sure. The vision of someone being killed, repeatedly. Someone else should go in your stead. If you go, you will be tempted and it will cloud your judgment. <laughs> if it comes to that, understand I won't be able to save you. It's destiny. When I heard about what happened to your father, I just had to come. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a Sith hidden among the royal family? Why is the princess carrying a bow? Surely you don't plan to fight. Masago is a Sith Lord. It's impossible to defeat her alone. Allow me to go with you. Misa, do they really need to be here? From what I can tell, you can't seem to fight. Understood. But they better not get in the way. Ah, you're finally awake, Tsubaki. Tsubaki, why did you come? He's a Jedi. 
He helped us five years ago when we were attacked by Orochi. Things have changed. There are checkpoints everywhere. I am in exile, and now cannot even get close to the palace. Kamahachi knows all the back roads in and out. And Senshu has all the connections. They are both essential to this journey. Fine, I'll add 300 credits. Deal. Now we'll just go this way. Lady Misa, who is your strange friend? Eh, said I travel all the way here by himself? Seems kind of suspicious. <laughs> Excuse me? From what I can tell, you can't seem to fight. Oh, I see. Jedi judge by appearances, do they? <laughs> if you must know, we're not strong fighters. <laughs> We're surrounded. There's no way out of here. We, we can't. Impossible. <laughs> You'll be cursed. No, I won't go. That's just... Uh, uh, 500. <laughs> we can't even fend up wild to cut cats. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're searching for you. <laughs> it's a protection song against evil spirits. Be quiet! No! We can't do that! There's a reason why they call the area the place of the gods! Because no one who has entered has ever returned! <laughs> Stop! No! If we do, we lose you too! Let me go! It's hopeless! It's his destiny to die! This is divine punishment! Well, well, <laughs> princess. <laughs> Did you think that by bringing a Jedi, you'd be able to avenge your pitiful father? <laughs> it was the right time. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity to come along. Is this a taste of that Jedi benevolence? You have talent, but you lack technique. He was always going to die because it was written. There is nothing that has not been fated. Calm down, Tsuba. Consider the fact. What could you possibly have done to save your friends? 